Good morning. Very quiet Monday. Good day to take off. Again, no goal from an odds-on favourite. And Atletico Bilbao, another European hangover. They should really have had the uh, class up front to have got rid of this Mallorca side. And even a red card, depending on when the red card came. 23rd minute, so this is really like Red Bull Salzburg. Do I stick or do I twist? This is the problem I've been facing. And it's going to be compounded because we've got the Champions League next week as well. So this weekend's going to be doubly difficult. The side in Europe with a perfect opportunity to win, uh, but can't even score. That might suggest that uh, the manager had to make changes post-Europe. So this is the problem we face. But not so many else, Venskin. Both of the odds-on favourites at home delivered. Did their opponent score first? Well, Buda did. The mighty Buddha scoring for Vasteras. And we got a quick response from Diergarden. So potential angles in there. Malmo should have been a little bit more reliable. And indeed, uh, the Alsvenskin delivering for you yesterday. Skiello at 25th minute goal. Took a while. 59th minute for Ali to get the equaliser and Bolin to get the winner. And if he's related to Thomas Bolin. So good stuff there. I up spore. Fantastic stuff from Tuck to Tuck Yorkshireman. Aye. Fantastic. Aye. Great stuff. They did score first. So uh, Alan Titchmarsh, the manager, and uh, Jeffrey Boycott, probably watching this in the stands for the Turkish Yorkshireman. Be delighted with the opening goal. It could have been potentially gettable. Newly promoted side in Turkish Super League. Galatasaray, Besiktas, Derby-style match, this one. Did Bez score first? No, they didn't. It was uh, Victor Oziman getting the second goal there. The, uh, the ex-Napoli player. So uh, an easy result for Gala on a difficult night, or a difficult night to trust. It's been a difficult weekend to trust. We've got more of that coming. But today, Italian Serie A dominates the coupon this weekend. It's spread Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. I've done the research for members. On paper, it does not look a good coupon at all. 2.45 for favourite. Cagliari Bologna and AC Milan Napoli. Now, I've got a slight problem now. We've gone an hour ahead. So it's a seven-hour gap, which means 7.45 kickoffs. It's 2.45 a.m. So I'll probably... Be unlikely to be doing the late kickoffs for you, I'm afraid. It'll have to be the 5.30s to start with. Uh, you never know, I might be up because uh, the Cup will certainly be providing some trading angles, if not Serie A, which does look a very tough nut to crack today. 2.45 the favourite, that about sums it up. So let's just uh, show you the conclusions at least in a coupon that makes very little appeal. Uh, over two and a half goals, not probable. 1-1, one, one, potentially. Lecce and Verona. AC Milan-Napoli, Derby-style match. Don't forget, Napoli are a different animal now under Antonio Conte. Could keep uh, AC Milan very, very quiet defensively. So, slight nod towards Napoli. Uh, Going to be a fascinating match to watch. I don't know if it's uh, a fascinating match to trade. 2.45, the favourite Cagliari Bologna as well. 1-1 one, one, or a 1-0. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, Serie A makes no appeal this evening at all unless there's something that can happen in place stats-wise. England is also there for us today as well. We work our way through. Cups. Uh, cup football dominates the coupon this weekend. So just to bear that in mind, uh, we started with the Austrian Cup there. Belgian Cup. Uh, so they make very little appeal on paper. It has to be in place stats led or not at all. Danish Cup should be expecting goals. We've got a 1.11 favourite Silkeborg from the Super League. English League One and English League Two are represented today. 
Let me have a quick look at the conclusions. Well, that's the League Cup. Okay. No, I don't think that's the League Cup. It should be League One. Uh, that is the League Cup. Okay, gotcha. So let's go down to League One, League Two. Lincoln and Northampton, 1.75 home favourites. So you've automatically got a thought towards the home side. Prediction, 2-1 Lincoln win. Over two and a half goals. Both teams to score possible. Uh, first half goal, Lincoln do score first half. Stevenage and Bolton, 2.3 the favourite in a lower league. Makes little appeal on paper, this one. So it's a tough old night tonight. Don't, don't really like it. And I will not, uh, unless I am actually awake, I won't be staying up at 2.45am to start my work. It's just too much. It'll knock me out. Fleetwood and Salford, 2.05 the favourite. And nothing much there. So I'm sorry if I'm a bit lacklustre today. Uh, I don't fancy this coupon at all. 2.45, 2.45. Derby style match. Yes, the Cup might offer us something. We've got the uh, Dutch Cup. Familiar names from the top flight. Groningen, Heerenveen, Venlo. And a lot of first division stuff as well. Pexvola there as well. So you might get something out of this. In play stats is the key. Belgian Cup as well. So English League 1, English League 2, we've got a fair idea there. EFL Cup, I don't know what use research will have. <clears throat> but this is an opportunity for Southampton to just uh, put to bed some awful results in the Premier League and get themselves a confidence-boosting win at home, if they fancy it. Similar story, Brentford should have far too much for Sheffield Wednesday, but likely we're going to get to first 11 changes from the uh, first 11 Premier League side that you'll see. For both teams. EFL Trophy has been a good competition. It's a pity it's on so late this evening. Uh, take your cues from the market. That's all I can say. I can't add anything research-wise. Professional Development League, 74% overs. So uh, have a bit of fun with that this afternoon. Hopefully I'll keep a tabs on the one o'clock and two o'clock there. So it is mostly a cup day. French League 2. Have a look at Le Standings who is dominating early season. Paris FC and Lorient. Lorient, newly relegated. So uh, interesting to see them dominating. Estac Trois, Martigue and Red Star. Both Martigue and Red Star, newly promoted and struggling. Newly relegated and dominating. Newly promoted and struggling. Typical story. So uh, Paris FC, keep an eye on them this evening. Top of the league. And our old pals who are struggling, Martigue and Red Star there as well. DBF Pokal today. Lots of Bundesliga sides out and about. Uh, Bayer Leverkusen, St. Pauli, Leipzig. Stuttgart, Dortmund got that loss at the weekend. Post-Champions League or post-Europe loss. Stuttgart got a win at the weekend. In-play stats will be key to success with that. And Greek football continues, but Italian Serie A, Serie B is with us. But look at this, 2.63, 2.75, 2.55, 2.6. These are big odds for favourites, which means the market's telling you Serie B is not a readable league this evening. You can have a look at the standings. Pisa are dominating Sassuolo, newly relegated Sassuolo, uh, second. And the strugglers, Frosinone, Cosenza, Cittadella, Modena, and surprisingly newly relegated Salernitana. But three points would zoom them all the way up to a top 10 place. So it's not panic stations just yet, but it's not quite what you're expecting when a side's been relegated into Italian Serie B. Not really dominating. Moving on down, Cups continue, Polish Cup, Portuguese Cup, Romanian Cup. It's got a championship likely to be lacking liquidity. Copa del Rey, big names are out and about, Villarreal, Royal Vallecano, Real Valladolid. So a few of the uh, 
La Liga teams are out and about. Swiss Super League, uh, Lausanne, and the Turkish Cup as well. Not really, it's all lower tier stuff. I wouldn't be getting involved in that. So it's a tough coupon today. I've got the added problem of an extra hour added on to the time difference. Now, I am in Guernsey in December, so uh, I will be quite happy to do these late sessions for you in the month of December. I'll be on UK time. But to, to try and get a 3 a.m. start is incredibly difficult, considering it's going to be finishing at 5 or 6 a.m. So I do apologise in advance if I can't make it to these late ones. Uh, it's just makes life very difficult to uh, practically wise. But we will see. It is certainly a compelling enough coupon and the cup will provide, I'm sure, with a sheer volume of matches, some possible trading angles. So I hope to see you later on. I'll certainly be about for the afternoon and the five o'clocks, even though that's a midnight start for me. Uh, I'll give it a go. It's not the best coupon in the world. Uh, I wouldn't get to too fixated on it but there are a few odds on favourites at least uh, telling Serie A you'd expect competitive football but the cup you never know so uh, English League 1 English League 2 might provide something but we will have a look so I hope to see you later on I'll certainly see you for the 5 o'clocks if not able to make it for the 8pm onwards have a great day